the ends of your hair are like soldiers that are protecting the rest of your hair. The ends of your hair are meant to endure all of that. So let them. Even though they have some level of split ends and they have some level of single strand knots, but you can still keep them happy by making sure that they are always drunk with a very thick hair part. It's a sad day in the life of your hair when you cut off the ends because now these unqualified, this hair that is healthy, must now take the responsibility. When the boys are ready, when these boys are ready to take over, this bud will fall off on its own. Your hair knows what it's doing. Your hair has a life of its own. It knows what it is doing. Hello guys, today I want to talk to you guys about why you should never cut off your ends. And I hope that I articulate this exactly as I feel it in my spirit. So today I am saying to you that do not cut off the ends of your hair. Why? Because why should you really? Why should we cut off the ends of our hair? The ends of our hair, they take the most hits. They go through a lot. They take a lot of punches. They endure a lot. Okay? They get single strand knots. As for us, people with coily hair, we are prone to single strand knots and everyone in the world is complaining about split ends. How common is it to get split ends than to get mid sharp splits? So the ends of your hair go through the most and whenever you part your hair, there's always that snag at the ends of your hair. The ends of your hair are meant to endure all of that. So let them. Let them, the ends of your hair, they take a lot of punches, as they should. From today onward, I need you to view the ends of your hair as, as the watchmen, as the front liners, you know? You know, like those soldiers that are always put in the front line in the war. Like the men of the night watch, if you've ever watched Game of Thrones. Take the ends of your hair like Sir in Game of Thrones, okay? It is the ends of your hair are like soldiers that are protecting the rest of your hair. I need you to perceive the ends of your hair as something like that, something that is very important, okay? But not as important as the king and the queen, but something that is very important that brings protection let us use this analogy okay that the the roots of your hair are like the king and the queen very important and maybe these are the women and children and these ones that are not so much at the ends of your hair but are almost there at the ends of your hair these ones let us say that they are the the young boys the young boys that are not yet ready for war but they are being trained for war. And then let us say that the ends of your hair are like soldiers, soldiers that have been trained for war, soldiers that have lived long enough. So what you are doing when you cut off the ends of your hair is that you cut them, right? And so now your hair starts from here onwards, okay? So when you cut off the ends of your hair, what you are doing is that you have killed the soldiers of your hair, the gatekeepers of your hair, the frontliners, the men of the night watch. You've killed the giants that are guarding the wall, okay, that are protecting the realm. What you have now done is that you are, it's like you have sold these young boys that are not ready for war. You have told them now, you have placed them, you have given them this huge responsibility of protecting the rest of your hair. Now this part is the end of your hair. These are your new ends because you've cut off this one, okay? And so now the young boys that are not trained for war, or maybe the young boys that are not yet ready for war, must now go. And if you've watched, I believe it's, Dr it's Dracula. Dracula Untold from 2014. I don't remember, guys. But I once watched this movie. And so the young boys had to now go to war. Their mothers were in so much distress. Even the king and the queen didn't want this, okay? 
like it's a sad day in the life of you here when you cut off the ends because now these unqualified this hair that is healthy must now take the responsibility of snagging every time you part of your hair it must now endure single strand knots it must now get to the split ends and what you can do is that you can keep your split ends here you don't have to cut your split ends by the way guys i don't know about you but this thing that people have always said has never made sense to me it never has every time someone explains why you should cut off your air why you should cut off your ends every three to six months it just didn't make sense to me that ha <laughs> ha if you don't cut it off the split ends are gonna oh you guys so what i am saying is that just keep the ends of your hair healthy even though they have some level of split ends and they have some level of single strand knots but you can still keep them happy by making sure that they are always drunk with a very thick hair part okay and that your hair is braided that is how you keep them hip. This way, you won't have to cut off your ends. Okay? You will just let your unhealthy ends, your damaged ends, not really damaged, but just not perfect. They have split ends and, you know, it's okay. But just keep them as happy as possible and as healthy as possible so that they can be the ones to guard the realm because every time you cut off your ends now this one is the end of your hair and so and, and as much as your scalp gives you new hair all the time as long as it is shooting forth new growth where now you are cutting your ends every three to six months but you are saying you want long hair like it does not make sense if you take away anything from this video, because as much as I want to explain it thoroughly to you guys as exactly as I feel it in my spirit, sometimes I struggle to explain things. But if you take anything away from today's video, let it be that the ends of your hair, they are the protectors of the realm. They are like soldiers that are keeping everyone happy while they are enduring the most hits, while they are taking the most punches. So what you can do is that you must keep your ends happy by always anointing them with hair butter and the rest of your hair is braided also and anointed. And so that way your hair will grow long. You won't have to cut, 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 cut. Why are you cutting off your ends if you want long hair? I don't understand. You know, there's a scripture in the Bible, right? I don't know where it is, but it must be in first or second Samuel. Okay. And David was eager to also go to war. But the man said to him that, no, stay behind. Because your life is more important than all of ours combined. Your life alone. So that is how soldiers are. Let the ends of your hair go to war. Let the ends of your hair be the ones to go to war. Because the rest of your hair is very important. Not everyone must go to war. Okay? And the unqualified boys do not have to go to war. So let the soldiers be the ones to do their job. Which is to gatekeep. Which is to take the most hits which is to do all of these things let your ends be the ones that are getting damaged because even if you cut off your ends the damage will happen right here so why are you cutting off this part let it fall away on its own you do not have to cut it yourself let it fall away when the boys are ready when these boys are ready to take over this part will fall off on its own your hair knows what it's doing your hair has a life of its own. It knows what it is doing. Yours is to just keep it anointed and braided. By the way, I haven't anointed my hair. I will do it tomorrow. Your hair knows what it's doing. Just trust your hair and do your part, which is to braid it and anoint it. Do not cut it off. Do not be crafty. Do not be manipulative. I think another thing that is making people cut, 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 cut their ends all the time 
is because they are doing the most they are doing a lot that is damaging to their ends so that is why they feel they need to cut it off and if you follow the ancient way if you just do the very minimal to your hair you will see that your ends are not getting as damaged as they used to like i said in my other video whenever someone advises you to be always cutting off your ends to be just ask them why if you are advising me that i must follow this routine which is you are saying it's the best routine in the world then why are my ends getting damaged this quickly that i must cut them off every three to six months just ask questions guys but i am telling you now that the ancient way the original way to grow your hair is the most effective way to grow your hair with less 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 damage even with no damage okay so just go back to your roots ask start asking your grandmother grandma how can i grow my hair so yes that is all i have for you guys today just do not cut off your ends if you liked today's video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i love you guys i will see you bye